What's up guys, it's Dwayne from mountainbuck.com. Join me on the hunt for the best hunting products. And guys, today we're checking out the all new Stealth Cam Deceptor No Glow Cellular Trail Camera. They make this in a regular version and a no glow variety. I wanted the no glow to see how we do with those nighttime shots and videos. This camera shoots 40 megapixel photos, 1440p HD videos, and has an all new feature which sets it apart from other brands. It's that on-demand photo and video feature. If you wanna check in on your favorite hunting spot during the day, you could do it with those on-demand photos. Now let's get into this box and check it out. Here it is right out of the box, guys, and check that out. I really like how that has that tree bark texture and feel on there. That's gonna provide some nice concealment for you out there in the woods. Of course, we have our cellular antenna in here, and this is gonna provide automatic dual coverage for whatever network works best in your area, whether it's Verizon or AT&T, it's gonna pick up whichever signal is strongest. We have, of course, our strap for the tree. We have our instruction manual right here, and a little stealth cam decal. Over here on the side, we have some holes for a Python cable if you wanna lock this thing down. On the bottom, we have threads if you wanna mount it that way if you're not using the strap for the tree. And we have a 12 volt jack on the bottom here if you want to plug this in uh, to an external battery pack or a solar panel. So we open this guy up here and we have a battery tray that's going to take eight AA batteries. Uh, we have a QR code in here to activate this thing. And a very basic functionality on the camera itself with the off and on button and a little sync button and they give you some uh, little LED light indicators on here to let you know what's going on with your camera. We also have a slot right here on the side for a standard size SD card. Let's get some batteries in here, connect it up to the Command Pro app and check those settings. This is very easy to set up in the Command Pro app. Just click on the plus sign to add a camera, scan the QR code and go through the registration process. Add your payment info and select your plan you also want to format your SD card. I went ahead and set the upload frequency to instant. This can of course increase your battery usage. In using this feature, I noticed that it does take about three to four minutes before you receive the alert on your phone that you have a new photo. Here you can see that you'll need to choose either photo or video. You can't do photo plus video, which is a setting that I really like and always select when it's available. So we'll choose photo and max out the photo resolution at 40 megapixels. I'm turning on the on-demand feature so I can check in on my spot whenever I want. This will also increase battery usage. And just as a side note here, during my test period, the Deceptor here took 298 photos with 17 videos included and the battery life is fluctuating anywhere between 75% and totally full battery. That's what the indicator is telling me. A very nice feature here is that you could share access to your camera through email. All right, our Deceptor No Glow is all set and ready to go. Let's get this thing outside and run some tests. All right, our Deceptor is on the tree looking real nice with that tree bark camo blending in nicely there. This camera has a 0.3 second trigger speed, which is very fast. So what I'm gonna do now is my trigger speed analysis where I set up about 10 yards in front of the camera, run right by and see how long it takes that camera to pick me up. Let's find out. All right, the Deceptor has an 80 foot detection range and how I'm testing this is I have four cones set up back there at varying distances. One's at 10 yards, then 20, 25 and finally 30 yards out. Now that third cone at 25 yards should pick me up. I'm gonna take a nice leisurely stroll by and see what we get. Okay, so trigger speed and detection range tests are all set. Let's check that footage. The Deceptor caught me here before mid frame with that 0.3 second trigger speed, although I am blurry in the photo. This camera picked me up at every marker all the way out to 90 feet, so it definitely exceeded its 80 foot detection range. It also caught me early in the frame each time. Here's an example of the daytime image quality that's sent directly to the app. All right guys, time out. Let me jump in here really quick. This is usually the part of the video where I compare the standard photo you get right within the app 
to the HD version that you request and download. I usually blow them up side by side and you can see how much better the quality is with the HD version. There's one small problem here. I was in the Command Pro app, I'm trying to find the HD photos and videos. Very easy to do when you filter and you find them that way. However, when I go to download them to my phone or share them, I'm noticing the file size on those HD photos is the same exact file size on the standard photos. They look the same when I blow them up. Something's not right here. I searched all over that Pro app, I, Command Pro app. I searched all over the internet. I looked around, finally called Stealth Cam customer service, was on hold waiting for them for 20 minutes. And then I realized they said, well, pull the SD card, which of course we could pull the SD card, but they also mentioned go into the web version, the web app version. So I did that, logged into the web app version, and I was able to get HD photos that way. So it was a little bit weird that I had to go into the app to get it when I'm on my phone. So I'm guessing they're gonna definitely correct that problem uh, through a software update here real soon once they get enough feedback from the customers. It's still early. It's like June 30th, gonna be July here tomorrow. So they will definitely change that at some point, do a software update where you can get the HD version of your photo right to the phone. All right, let's get back to the review. And here is the actual HD photo after I've downloaded it from the web app. It looks great, nice and crisp and clean image of that doe there, 40 megapixels, and it looks really nice. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison where I've blown up the standard image on the left and the HD version on the right, so you can see the quality you get from that HD download. Honestly, the regular photos here are pretty good quality, and you might not even need those HD photos, unless you get a really good buck on camera. In that case, you're probably going to want to download the HD version. Here's the nighttime image quality. And again, the HD version here. Nice images at night here. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison where I've blown up the standard image on the left and the HD version on the right. You also have a night colorization AI, which adds some color to the black and white shots. Now this isn't a perfect system, but it is interesting and does add some life to those nighttime photos. And the way they do video mode is they give you a three image animated GIF type preview in the thumbnail. This way you can determine if you wanna go ahead and download the HD version. You'll see when you do that, it costs an additional 25 cents per video. Here's an example of the daytime video quality. That's looking nice and clear with the 1440p HD video. Now these are only 10 second video clips and I want to mention the audio here has a white noise overlay. Listen in here at regular volume. All right, here's the nighttime video quality. The video feature here is just a little bit clunky for me and I'll explain why. I tested this system on an iPhone and instead of saving it to your camera roll, it's gonna save your video to your files folder. So you're gonna to have to track them down. I was also disappointed to see that my video files did not play directly here. So I had to convert the file type in a separate app for the purpose of this video. Now I'm guessing most people out there aren't gonna take the extra step of converting a video file on a separate app so they can save it to their camera roll. You can still view it in the app itself, you can view the video, uh, but it's definitely clunky and hopefully they'll send out an update to fix that software in the future. It's very easy to get your on-demand photos, just click the button and you get a little notification here when it's ready. Overall, this camera takes some really good quality images and has a lot of great features like the on-demand photos and the AI built within the app. It also has a great detection range and trigger speed. However, it is a little bit clunky with the video output and hopefully they get that sorted out with a software update. As always, the links to you guys we talk about are in the description below. Guys, get yourself some killer mountain buck gear. Do me a favor, hook me up and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and we'll see you on the next one.